Hey, it's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So today we are going to be continuing the Moana limited time event, which is called Find the Way. So we are just under 20 days now, and right now my goal is to unlock Pua. So I have to try and do that before he's officially released to us tomorrow, which is Friday. I will be doing a live stream for Pua, assuming I unlock him today. Obviously, I'll still do the live stream regardless, but uh, I want to try and make sure that I get him unlocked so that I can start collecting his character tokens right away when he is released to us. That way I can kind of stay with the event a little bit. Now this actually has been a little bit more challenging uh, than most of the events, I think with the quests and stuff like that. So we'll see sort of how it goes going forward. But here we've got some dialogue from Chief Tui. Well, no such luck getting through to them, I'm afraid. Though I did pick up this lovely new spear in the bargain. Yes, it's a shame they had to throw it at you so hard first. <laughs> it wasn't my finest diplomatic hour, I'll admit. Quest complete! Just stay there! I almost wonder if I should have brought them a welcome gift. Not that it would have done much good. No, I don't think it would have done you any good, Chief Tui. I don't think the Kakamora would even notice that you brought a gift. They'd probably just still start throwing spears at you regardless the moment they saw you. <laughs> but anyways, that is actually the next character token that we are going to be collecting for Moana. If there's any good news from my encounter with the Kakamora, it's that they didn't leave their ship to attack me directly. Which means maybe they still have a fighting chance to defeat them, since there are so many. I think so long as one of us is there to keep them distracted, they'll stay that way. Or that's my hope. Let's divide up the work then. I'll focus on finding the rest of the tapestries. And I'll keep them away from the shore. It's a good plan. Worst comes to worst, they'll run out of weapons to throw eventually. Yeah, eventually. I can't imagine the Kakamore would ever run out. <laughs> Conflict Descalation. Okay, so we've got to collect these spears for Moana. Finally, we've unlocked the next character token for her. This is good. Now, I believe we need 30 of these, though. Chewy, don't panic, but I heard a scuffling sound from under the meeting house just now. If one of the Kakamora found their way into your mother's things... No, the tapestries, all of our people's history, could be lost forever. We have to put a stop to that, Sina. And stay out! Send Sina and Tui to stop the homecoming invader. Uh oh, we've got Kakamora invading our attractions now? No, that would be horrible! What? They're supposed to stay where they are. Does that mean we have to defeat more of them too in the kingdom? That would be brutal. We already had to defeat eight of them and that took like two days. Actually, I think that was like the longest part um, of this section of the event was the Kakamora for like, as I said, two days of battling them and trying to collect stuff to get rid of them. So I hope we don't have to do that again. I have a feeling we could have to do that at least one more time at some point in the event. But fingers crossed that won't be for a little bit. Again, I want to unlock Pua before Pua is released. So if we actually have to defeat more of them for like another two days, then that will mean that I do not get that opportunity <laughs> to unlock Pua right away. So I'm hoping this is not my worst nightmare, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, so don't forget guys to shoo away those crabs. Now, why would you shoo away the crabs? Because they are super duper important for the flowers. Now the flowers is going to be helpful to level up your characters from the event. And also too guys, it's very useful to welcome them. And we're gonna need 60 for, 
for Pua. So make sure you guys are holding on to those. I mean, you will have like at least a day or two, but still. <laughs> what is this? Nothing more than a few half-eaten taro roots? If a Kakamura was here, it's long gone. If nothing else, now we know that Kakamura eat taro instead of tapestries. If this was Kakamura at all, and I'm starting to wonder. Quest complete and stay out! You focus on distracting the Kakamura on the ship, Tui. I have an idea I want to follow. What? I'm confused. Those chewed up taro roots looked awfully familiar. And I'm saying that as someone who's had to chase one of her daughter's friends out of our vegetable fields more than once. Now, where could that little one be hiding this time? <gasps> Welcome a pet pig! Welcome Pua! Oh, yes, we unlocked him. I was so worried there. I was wondering, I was like, what? Kakamura eat taro roots? What? But no. All right, so this is good. It's actually Pua who's been eating them. And the tapestries, though, well, the tapestries are fine for now. Uh, so Pua is coming to us in exactly one day. So this is good. I'm totally ready for the start uh, for Pua. Yeah. So I'll make sure to send out my quests and everything the night before so that I'll be able to get the first set of drop rates. But if you guys want to do that too, make sure you guys check out my spoilers video, which is the last video I posted here. Now here is Chief Tui back in the kingdom. And yes, I did use gems there, I'll explain in a minute. Chief Tui is now level 5. This suits you. Okay, so my reasoning for that is really simple. Um, I have a pretty busy day and I wanted to make sure that I got the video for you guys done and everything and was posted so that that way that was before obviously the live stream. So I just wanted to sort of hurry up that whole leveling up process just a little bit. That way I could go about uh, my day and not worry about getting a video up for you guys later on. So normally I don't do that. That's not usually my style, but you know what? Once in a while that's okay. The queen is now level three, the evil queen. Alas, to all who try to thwart me. Oh my gosh, and dialogue. <gasps> She's so scary. Very well, there are other methods to obtaining my revenge. She's laughing at us. <laughs> While Snow White is away, I shall enter the dwarf's cottage, hide myself well, and when she returns, I shall do what the huntsman could not. Okay, the direct approach. Send the evil queen into the dwarf's cottage. She's going after Snow White? No! No, we cannot allow this. Oh my gosh, this is bad news. Super bad news. I thought she was just gonna shove a poison apple in her mouth or something, but nope. Okay, she's going all out here. She wants her heart. Spamly is now level eight. Woo, I ain't had a software upgrade like this in a dog's age. Yeah, it has been a little while since we leveled you up, that is for sure. But uh, at least that'll give me something to do, at least for the Wreck-It Ralph characters for a little bit. And I needed somebody that was like eight hours just sort of to quickly level up there. So not a huge deal. He was sitting sort of in my inventory there to bring back. So I'll have to choose some more characters though for you guys for the live stream. So I'm not totally sure who I'm going to do just yet. I was thinking about the mayor from The Nightmare Before Christmas because I haven't done him in a while and I know he's 16 hours. So since there's one day and one hour, I thought he might be a good one uh, to do. And then I might try and see if like someone like Flower or Merryweather or even, uh, I don't know, who else would be good? Scar if I've got enough stuff for him. Anyways, I was thinking about a couple of characters there that I could bring back during the live stream. So hopefully that will work out. Again, the 16 hours is there. And then after that, I'll basically just try and maybe, again, choose a couple of short ones that are like anywhere between, 
I don't know, 35 seconds and like four hours. I think that will probably work out okay, at least for the stream, so that we get a little bit of dialogue while we wait for Pua at the start. Again, I will be going over some of the spoilers again in the live stream. So if you guys missed that video, obviously by the time we get there, um, I will be talking a little bit about what you can do sort of to get that ready. And as always, I will try and help you guys uh, with any questions that you guys have during the stream. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. All right, so uh, again, choosing my characters to level up will be a challenge, but I did want to talk to you guys about what level my characters for the Moana event are at the moment. So first we've got Cinna. She is a level four. She is ready to go to a level five. Now I will not be doing her right away just because, well, I've got a few reasons for that. Uh, the first and obviously most important reason is going to be because obviously her character tokens will conflict a little bit with Pua. So I'm going to wait on that. Uh, now Moana, I've got her 20 tapestries. I've got two of the 30 Kakamora spears now. So that's good. Um, I obviously will be sending Chief Chewie out until tomorrow to try and get some. I don't know if I'm going to do... Cinna per se, I think I'll probably send her out uh, for the character tokens for Grand Metallic because I want to get her to a level 3. Um, then obviously I need 50 of the boat repair materials, but that's not unlocked to us just yet. So we'll have to wait and find out who can collect for those. Uh, now Chief Chewie, obviously you guys just saw me level him up just a minute ago. Um, he is now a level five. I've already got one of his chief staff. So that is there. I need obviously 15 of his ears hats. I'm going to try and work on that uh, for the next 24 hours. And hopefully I'll be pretty close. That way his character tokens don't conflict too much with Pua. Now Grandmatella, as I said, I need to get her to a level three. That way she can help with Pua on her own. Obviously that is sort of the most important thing for me um, until then. So hopefully I will be able to level her up obviously before that. So fingers crossed for me guys. Now I am going to try and get one of her ears hats if I can from a radiant chest. So I'm using my 25 gems for that. <gasps> we got another Moana's necklace token. No way. Oh, and some flower tokens. All right, that's cool. That's fine. What? This is so good. All right, so Moana's gonna be like almost totally ready to, like once I welcome her, to be leveled up. I know I need her ears hats still, but that'll be it, I think basically because I think it's only like two items that she needs. So this will be really, really good for her comfy, cozy costume, guys, which is going to be obviously after we welcome her, we'll start collecting for it. So this is obviously like a huge deal for me. If you guys have any of Moana's necklaces, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know what your character levels are right now for your Moana characters that you guys do have. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and have found it pretty useful in terms of quests and stuff like that that you guys will need to unlock Pua. Thank goodness we didn't have to defeat more Kakamora because I was, honestly, at the beginning of this video, I was scared about that. But obviously now things are all good and we are totally ready to go uh, for Pua who is going to be released to us tomorrow. So I can't wait for the live stream for, with you guys. Um, so thanks guys for watching another Disney Girls Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big Mickey thumbs up. If you guys are new, subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell for post notifications and don't forget to wait till the very end because I will leave a link to my other channel at the end of this one and especially if you guys love Harry Potter everything Harry Potter is going to be over on that one so thanks so much guys for watching and we'll see you for the next one